Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to build a shelf inside the security chamber, meaning you will be able to lock or. Currently I have it like this, but since there are many people exploiting and flinging stuff from your base, I came up with this idea. This is the end result, it's not that hard to make, but some blueprints have to be placed in the correct order to make it work. Let's get into it. There now we have some light. I have to remove all this first, but I will speed it up. Okay, looks what this shelf does. Put your items in it and lock it, now you won't able to move or pick it up. You can still use the tool that tells you the info about the item when the shelf is locked. Now let's build it. Take the chamber and move it to where you want. I want it inside my building so here I place it. Just like this, now you need a blueprint to place it inside the camber. Putting it on the edge, will say there is no space, move it one stud away from the side. Now take the shelf and put it on top of the blueprint, but now you can move it back one stud, so it's flush with the chamber wall. I'll be using a 2x8 to make it in the center from the chamber. One very important point, you must place the shelf upside down, so those gray cylinder parts are on top, else for some reason you cannot put a 2x8 underneath it. Let's speed this up. Now when I rotate the shelf upside down I'll be able to place my 2x8 under it. There we go, after 10 minutes it was this easy, since I want to shelf I have to do this twice. You gotta move the camera, like inside the chamber to place the blueprint. For some reason you don't have to rotate the shelf now, to put the 2x8 on it, but I will rotate it anyways, because I will add something later on. Also quick side note, once you build something inside the chamber you can't move it, and put it back, else you have to rebuild all this again, you can face the shelves to the inside, if you want that, but in a rather video I will show, why I didn't do that. There we go, all done we could say, you just wire it up and done, well sure but I want to hide the tiny bar under the shelf with a neon light, and also have a alarm bell, when the chamber is not locked. So you want to move this blueprint, and later put it back, so wires are inside it, if they are not in the way. Connect the chamber to a lever or other stuff you want to use, I'll be using a simple lever. Some cable management here lol. Well. 
when I put my wall back the black dot will stick out, so I can connect other stuff to it. Now for the neon light under it, just move the camera slightly inside the chamber, and place the neon wire. I'll start on the back, so I can hide the wire, that goes to the lever. Now go to the front side, and connect it all the way back to the first dot. Sorry I like the place my wires very good lol. And now back to the first dot, you can use any color, or be creative with this, and make it flashing, or have multiple colors in it. Ok, now connect this neon to the same wire as the chamber, or if you want you can connect it to where you want. Sorry if this takes a bit time. Of course I can't place my wall, lol. If this happens replace the wire, but I will skip this now. Ok done, now the alarm you will need a inverter as well, when the lever is green it turns on the chamber, but the alarm has to be off. Put the alarm anywhere you want, I will let the video play how I done it, just wire everything up and you're done, in a other video I will show you what I will make on the other side from the chamber, also this should work with the locker too, you know the one with doors you can open, and hang pickaxes in.
Okay, so when the chamber is locked the neon should be on, and the alarm is off. Looks like it's working.